Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm doing the March Tarot Scopes. This will be for Leo, so I'm rising Venus. Now as always, just keep an open mind. The readings are general, just take what resonates and as it resonates with you. And be sure to watch all your signs. Um, for information about private readings, all that is in the description box below. If you would like to, we have two pentacles, we'll see if it flies back out. Um, if you'd like to donate, um, my PayPal link is also in the description box below, and thank you. Um, only saying that because some people have been asking. And, King of Cups. Um, I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck for you, for your men's spread, and the Gregory Scott Tarot deck to clarify. So, Leo, let's jump right in, see what's going on for Leo in the month of March. Nope, okay. Leo in the month of March. So we have the Empress, the Lovers, the Queen of Rods, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Hermit, the King of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Hierophant. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> well, it looks like someone's going to need some convincing. Right. Now with the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck, you're very, very stressed about something. This is a lot of anxiety, this is a lot of confusion, this is a lot of what ifs, what if I say this and it doesn't work, what if I do that and it doesn't work, um, I don't want to make a mistake, what are they going to say, sleepless nights, definitely. As you're coming into the reading, we have the Empress, so this can be Taurus, Libra energy, it can talk about a focus on love at this uh, time, but it's just, it's the energy of love, abundance, because it's Venus, right? Growth, expansion, it can talk about family as well, commitments, etc. Speaking of commitments with the lovers as the challenge, it could be that a Gemini is being particularly challenging, and with that nine of swords there and the five of swords there, um, or the challenge is around a choice, um, maybe you're dealing with someone, could also be the energy of Gemini, I think I said that already, but maybe you're dealing with someone who, you're waiting for them to make a choice between you and another person, or you're the one who has to make a choice between them and another person. Because I have, well, I have earth sign, air sign, and water sign on the board. And the foundation, the reason for everything, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So with the Wheel of Fortune, what I'm seeing here is like when it rains, it pours. So let's say you've been single for a while and you were thinking about, you know, I wish I had someone, I wish I met someone, etc. And now here you go, you're dealing with three people, go ahead, choose one, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling, that's what I'm picking up on. Um, if it's with work or any other type of opportunity, bear with me. just with his presence same thing if it's with work or anything like that you know you've been searching 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 not coming uh, up with anything experiencing um, some bad luck or bad fortune that's why I'm looking after Harvey um, and then all of a sudden something flips and now you've got more than you can handle and you have to make a choice and you're like but what if I make the wrong choice in the past we have the nine of Pentacles so you have been single and happy for a while Leo um, not really interested in commitments, but again, maybe you've come across someone who you view as worthy of a commitment, and now you're in your head about it. The Nine of Pentacles, whatever the case may be, and however this applies, is where you've been happy on your own, you've, um, whatever you needed, you created for yourself, you went and got it, you went and worked for it, and so you didn't really depend on anyone else, or you didn't really think about anyone else. But you have, you have these choices. 
crowning you we have the queen of rods so again this is your energy uh, you've been thinking about yourself not in necessarily in a selfish way but it's just how it's been looking after yourself thinking about yourself focusing on yourself your job your career your passion your business your appearance your health and well-being whatever the case may be this is also an energy of attraction and the empress is also an energy of attraction and manifestation so you've been working on manifesting things you thought it wasn't working and you kind of gave up and then the wheel turns and then here are the, the results so in the near future around mid-month you have the four of cups with the four of cups you kind of have to make a choice see how many are presented to you there i'm seeing this as you having to make a choice you can't do everything you can't have everything you have to make a choice it's one of them either or choices for some it might involve uh, someone from the past and a new person or it might involve again we have water earth and air here um, with the four of cups there's no way that everyone's gonna be happy with your decision there is simply no way so you're in your head about okay whose feelings am I gonna hurt in the position representing you we have the hermit with the hermit in the end you're like you know what I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings what if I just reject everything and everyone and just be done with it this could also be fear of making the wrong decision This could be fear of making the wrong decision. You're like, I need more time. I need to figure it out. I don't know what I want. I don't know what to do. I don't know which way is best. In your environment, we have the King of Cups. So this could be like another person to be added to the mix. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or this could be, it could be the person you're leaning towards. Especially if you have history. Up. He's like, oh, I'm good. Um, especially if you have history or family together or whatever the case may be, you're leaning more towards this person, is how I'm seeing this. Hopes and fears. We have the Five of Swords. I mean, no matter how you slice it, you're going to be an ASS to someone because you're not going to choose them. And that's why you're in your head. And maybe this air sign is very, very controlling. Not necessarily controlling. What I mean is pushy. They're very pushy. They're like, choose me. What are you waiting for? In the outcome, we do have the higher offense. So in the end, you do choose someone. This is the energy of Taurus. So it's making me think about this empress again. But it is the energy of commitment. It could be marriage. It could be just lifelong commitments. Starting a family, getting the family back together. It's about job, it's with a big corporation where there's more opportunities for you to advance, to develop. You can change between departments, etc. And maybe the person you're talking to wanted to be a business partner. So this is what I have. So you have, if it's about business, you've been working on your own with the Knight of Pentacles, maybe even working on your own business. With the lovers here, they're this air sign that's coming in. They want to be your business partner. Okay, but then there's this other opportunity with a large corporation or something where there's room to grow, there's room to advance, and you're thinking about that. You're thinking about putting the business aside and just kind of switching up gears where you have to work for someone else, you know, because of the perks, because of the benefits, because there's it's less stress on you, whatever the case may be. And then this air sign is not taking it well. And then the King of Cups can be conversations you have with HR for this role, etc. And then this air sign again, they're just not taking it well. But listen, at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. They could even say, why don't you just give me your business? You want to go work for someone else? Give me your business. <laughs> and you're like, how, how does that make sense to you? This is my business. I built it. I created it. What do you mean just give it to you? If it's in love, again, I'm seeing the wheel has turned and where you didn't have any options or you didn't perceive any options, now you've got at least two, two or three to choose from. I'm seeing you lean more towards the one you have history with or the one you already have a family with. And the new person is not going to be happy about that. There's, 
you might have spent time with this new person, Leo, and you might have had a lot of fun together, a lot of passionate nights together. But when it comes to, and that's fine for what it is, when it comes to long-term commitments, you're leaning more towards the person you already have a history with. You do not see this new person as like long-term in your life. And they might not be understanding that, or accepting that, or happy with your decision. But you have to do what you have to do, Leo. Okay, so let's clarify for Leo in the month of March. 2021, something flipped over. Yeah, Five of Pentacles with the Empress. So where there was a, a complete lack, now it's like the reversal of that. You don't know what to do. Yeah, see, the Gemini energy, the Lover's energy is with the Ace of Wands. Something very passionate and very fun, but also temporary. With the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Nine of Pentacles again. A reversal of fortune. With the Nine of Pentacles in the past, we have the Four of Wands. With the Queen of Rods, we have Judgment. Yeah, you have to you have to make a decision. It's important. You have to make a decision. You have to take it seriously. With okay, then hold on, bear with me. I don't want to run the card over with my chair. Okay, let me just check. There's no more on the floor. Okay, there's no more on the floor. Four of Cups and the Four of Cups came out again. Might have been reverse. I'll read it both ways. And the Knight of Wands. With the Hermit, we have the Five of Cups. Someone's getting left behind, but that's just what needs to happen. With the King of Cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles. With the Five of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords. And with the High Refund. <laughs> We have the two swords, bottom of the deck, the hermit again. So I have the energies of Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Libra. And those are the major arcana, right? And then we also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the King of Cups. Okay. So Leo, you have been experiencing a lack of opportunities, a lack of abundance, a lack of options, or it's felt like a complete lack. With the lovers, we have the Ace of Wands. So this is, like I say, something very fun, very passionate, but also temporary, and the flame kind of died out, burned out. You weren't expecting the past to come back. I feel like that's why we have the Four of Cups twice. You weren't expecting to have another go at this. So you were trying to move on. Hence the new fun energy. In the foundation, the Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Pentacles. Again, you thought, okay, I'm single now. That's it. And you were acting as such. If, of course, if it's about business, this is telling you there have been changes with status or because of what's been going on in the world or changes in how you do your business or the number of clients you have or the services, the products you can pr provide, etc. And that has sparked you feeling a sense of lack and you starting to look for other options. In the past, we have the Nine of Pentacles again and the Four of Wands. So you, um, you did one, you did one, you did go from feeling stable to on your own in searching, independent, having to be independent, uh, you did go from, it, there was a change in status quite clearly. You know, if you had a boyfriend or a wife or a husband, then you were single. Um, if you worked, if you had a comfortable job and you thought it was great and it went away, so then you thought, okay, well, with everything that's going on in the world, I'm going to start my own business, and you did. Crowning you, we have the Queen of Rods and the Judgment card. You're trying to make the best decision for yourself, as you should. Um, this isn't the time to take others into consideration. And I feel like that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to clear your head to be more realistic and practical when you look at your choices. But I do see reconciliation offered or on the mind. And again, I don't think you expected to have this opportunity or this option 
when you started off in this new, fun, passionate, temporary energy. In the near future, again, we have Four Cups with the Four Cups <laughs> and the Knight of Wands. So you can either go back to the Four Cups or go back again to the Four Cups energy, try again where you tried before, um, or completely shift course with that Knight of Wands, change path completely, or carry on in the direction of whatever this new and passionate thing is. But if it's not about love, this does talk about getting unstuck, an offer coming your way, a job offer, for you to work for someone else. In a position representing you, we have the Hermit and the Five of Cups. If it's to do with career and business, obviously there's a little bit of disappointment because you feel like you couldn't cut it on your own because of what's going on in your business, stop being success successful or whatever the case may be. So there's a little bit of you know, disappointment there and uh, you're worried about losing your independence, etc. But at the same time, you know that this is a good opportunity with the Two of Cups there. For others of you, once again, you're having some conversations and you're telling people what your choices are and someone's getting their feelings hurt. I feel like, I do feel like you're leaning more towards the water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but if it's not that, then you're leaning more, t more towards the person you had feelings for previously and potentially the person you had a history with or even children with. In your environment, yeah, here we go. The King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. You're talking to this King of Cups. Okay, how are we going to do this? What's your expectations? What your vision? What's your vision? Um, this is also, you know, putting your resources together, moving back in or moving back together in a different place, whatever the case may be. Um, coming up with a plan. Okay, we're going to do this. Let's do it properly. Let's, let's do it right. Let's finish with the love scenario first so that we don't get confused. Five of Swords with the Ace of Swords. The fear is how this other person is going to take it that you've been dealing with. Because they have a bit of an edge to them. They have a bit of a temper. I feel like you're afraid they're going to create drama or they're going to reach out to this King of Cups that you're, you've decided to go back to and tell them some things just to hurt you. I feel like that's what the fear is. And I wouldn't put it past this person. But you know how to prevent that is for you to be honest yourself with the King of Cups or whoever it is that you're choosing. And that's why you also have the Ace of Swords. And in the outcome, we have the Hierophant with the Two of Swords. This is where I see the past person, again, trying to push you, trying to reach you, and you blocking them. I feel like this is where you close yourself off to everyone else other than this commitment that you're making because you want to give it a, a proper chance. Again, I feel like there's family involved here, however that is. Um, but yeah, you're cutting everything and everyone else off. If it's to do with work, again, you're dealing with someone who just expects you to either make them your partner or just give them your business, you know. Just give them your business, what's the big deal? Um, and that's not going to happen. You might have to be very firm with this person. They might, you know what they're going to, they're going to try to look at, can I do anything legally to get this business from the Leo? They have no right, by the way, and no legal right either. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that, okay? But they might try, so just be, be aware of that. And I do see you starting this other job working for someone else it has a lot of perks there's a lot of benefits that come with this job there's a lot of room for growth and development i get the health insurance is great or better than what you had before maybe when you were working for yourself or maybe you didn't have health insurance anymore because you had lost your job or whatever the case may be so this is healing this is recovery this is starting to build again it's just in a different direction than where you were before especially when it comes to work money and just be prepared that someone's going to have a problem with your decisions and someone's going to try to bully you or intimidate you into giving them your business or into giving them uh, something that used to make you money, but it's none of their business, right? So, I'll leave it there, Leo. Let me know what this is about for you and how it makes sense if it does. If you are dealing with these energies, I hope the reading helps you. 
Um, remember to watch all your signs. Have a great month, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.